Yo, what up guys, it's Vajesley, and today I have a Minecraft video on my Reaper mod, uh, uh, so this is basically the full 1.1 update notes, because it's released, and I thought I should make a video for those who don't look at the version history on my, uh, Minecraft forum post. Now, I'm really completely fine with that, I, I honestly don't care, um, I'll make videos for you guys, so you guys get the full, um, feel of what the Reaper mod adds, like, well, 1.1 1 .1 ads. Now, all right. So let me before I get started with that, guys. Um, if you do subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Bajesley, the creator of this mod. Um, I'm also known as Reapism on the forums. Um, uh, if you guys subscribe, um, you guys will get um, pre-releases to um, um, 1.2 and 1.3 and so on. Um, you guys will from starting from 1.2, you guys will get pre-releases of new content that's going to be up, and you guys will be the first ones to test it, and I won't even release pre-releases of forums, period, it'll only be to my subscribers, and the only way you'll get notified is obviously if you subscribe, so, enough with that, um, so basically this is update notes, um, guys, it spawns a tad bit more often, um, it could spawn up into a group of five instead of four, uh, uh, that's not probably, that's probably not the biggest change. But I'm going to pause it from right now, so I, uh, I'm going to go find one, and then I'll, like, you know, record again, and then I'll show you guys. So, as of right now, um, I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright. Yo, what up, guys? I found a Reaper right below me. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's him. Now, if you could look, um... He doesn't jump too high, but he is very fast, and he could jump a hell of a lot more than he used to. So, I'll show you right now. I'm in, I'm in creative mode, so he won't deal damage. But, you, you'll you see in a sec. Um, he could climb pretty fast. Now, if I go ahead and scale up this, he'll be right behind you. As, like, faster than you know it. Alright, so... So now I just want to bring him to the surface, and I don't know how I could do... Oh, uh, actually, I will. Um, because I have a little thing set up for you guys, so you guys can see. Come on, Reaper, get over here. There you go, boy. There you go. Alright, if he moves. So, uh, once I get up there, I'll, I'll tell you guys all you need to know. Holy shit. Damn, Reaper. I command you to shut the fuck off. Oh yeah, guys, he still um, uses <laughs> default zombie sounds. Um, but in 1.2, uh, hopefully I'm adding the new sounds. I do have the sounds um, with me right now, but I just need to code them in, which shouldn't be that hard. Alright. And he didn't fucking follow. There you go. Come on, Reaper. Come on, Reaper. Come on. Alright, guys. He if you guys didn't pay attention to 1.1, um, he's allowed to go in daylight. Um, apparently, um, Reaper doesn't give a shit and he just goes out in daytime. Not joking. I coded him like that. So he's a lot more harder. Oops, sorry, Reaper. Didn't mean to do that. You really need to jump more. About to kick your ass. Oh, God. What the? Oh, yeah, because it's, um,. Damn, I keep hitting him. It's creative mode. Yeah, it's creative. It's really annoying. Okay, once I get him out of Get the hell over here. <laughs> Probably yelling at an inanimate object. But whatever. Okay, guys. As you can see, I'm walking backwards. And he's... Like... At this... If I wasn't... If I was on survival mode, he would kill you. Instantly. He deals four damage... Um, four hearts, so that's a lot. Um, so you basically have to have full health, um, a full health bar to sprint, because you always need to be sprinting from this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you over this. Now he does it pretty fast. Um, he has Mountain Climber Pro. Yes, I know. <laughs> and you guys, um, I'm probably gonna hate that, but guys, um, oh yeah, uh, um, what I said before. Uh, um, it's not, um, 
compatible with single player commands. Like the game will still run and everything, but I don't think Reaper will spawn. So please know I'll, I'll fix that as soon as possible. And you guys remember, you guys on wanted me to make a immune to fire. Well, guess what? He's immune to fire. So he could stay in there as long as he wants, and he will never die. See? All right. So let me pause it for a sec. Um. So as you can see, he's faster. His it appears he's a larger scale than before. He's not midgy. He's two blocks high, I believe. He's a little. I guess he's a little bigger. And he he appears backwards now, guys. Like I said about the walk animation, don't bug me about this. I've been coding for four hours straight on the 29th. That is two days ago from this recording, this um, video. And, like, just to fix all the bugs and add all these cool features for you guys. Now, I need some time to rest, and I have a quarterly in school that I need to study for and do so. Please don't bug me about that. Um... Uh, so yeah, that's about that. Okay, um also, um he doesn't drop anything. Now, it was kind of buggy. I was testing it out during those 4 hours and it became a little buggy where he wasn't dropping anything. So I just made him unable to drop anything as of right now. But if a skeleton kills him, he will drop diamonds. Weird, huh? Weird how it works, right? But that that's still in there. Um so yeah, but remember, if the Reaper kills a skeleton, the skeleton isn't going to drop diamonds. The Reaper will. And it's kind of, the chances are slim to none if you put it against skeletons, because the Reaper will kill in like two to three hits. Like, very easy and fast. So, uh, yeah. And guys, I want to show you. Now, if you're climbing up a hill, running away from the Reaper, um, it's not the best possible way to get away from the reaper because as you can see he's just gonna plow right over you and just kill you now if i wasn't in creative mode i would have been dead a long time ago probably even before i started recording so yeah all right so i'll show you in flying he'll just walk up very very fast and i'll tell you i'll tell you a little bit about 1.2 about 1.2 um 1.2, uh, I put some polls on the forums, and for it to, um, hold the, uh, scythe, I think it's pronounced, a scythe, yeah, um, and, ooh, sorry about that, um, and he's gonna hold the scythe in 1.2, but it may be in 1.2, because, uh, you know, like, I need to relax and stuff, and I don't know if I'm gonna code that stuff, I'm probably gonna only make it compatible with single player commands in 1.2. So that's about it. Um, I need some time to relax. Like I said, I have the quarterlies to um, study for and stuff. I need to be on top of that before the mod. School's always important, guys. Stay in school. <laughs> but back to the Reaper mod. <laughs> um, the health is um, increased. Uh, it's around 15 hearts. Um, uh, obviously, lava traps won't work on the Reaper. Um, and it doesn't, like... Uh, sorry, that that's actually a, a miss word right there, so I don't know how to fix that. Okay, uh, it never despawns. Now this is something, um, uh, maybe some of you will probably have a problem with. Guys, alright, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say if you die by the Reaper, let's say, like, let's say, um, like, right now he just killed me right now. Um, and I, I lost all my stuff. I return to my spawn point. I'm going. I'm coming my way back. The Reaper will stay around the area. It won't stray too far. It'll just stay around the area where the items are, and it will like basically guard it so you won't get it back. Um, I played a little bit with the Reaper on single player on my other world, and uh, I died from the Reaper because you know, I have to admit he's kind of hard. Um, and yeah, I went to go get my stuff, and he was there guarding it, like I coded him to, and I basically wasn't able to retrieve my stuff, unfortunately. But, 
you know, yeah, that's basically it. It could spawn up in a group of five, not four anymore. Five. <laughs> Lucky number five. Alright, and that's basically it for 1.1. So, remember guys, subscribe if you want um, early treats. And also, it'll, it'll like help me out and, you know, all that good stuff. I, I really um suggest that you do subscribe. Um, I don't only do Minecraft. Uh, well, I do, uh, right as of right now, I only do Minecraft. But if you, I do make some interesting videos, if you guys don't know about that. I don't just um upload about my mod. So, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching this video. And before I go, um, if um a person named Evan is still watching this, um, he had a little bit to say about 1.1. Um, so, basically, this uh, 1.1 is a dedication... No, actually, 1.0, I meant that he had uh, to say. 1.1 is a dedication to a friend named Evan. So, if he doesn't think this is scary enough, then you're out of your mind. So, guys, it's up to you to test it out yourself and play. Um, links in the description, like always. And, obviously, please subscribe. Um, it does help. I probably mentioned that a lot, but I, I really suggest that you guys do subscribe. Um... So yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial about 1.1. So yeah, um, my name's Bajesli, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.